Biden directs NASA to create a standard time for the moon. Meaning this is what I want. Thank God. Thank Biden, God. What Finally. Biden's worried about is what time zone is the moon going to be on? Like, can you imagine how uh, uh, considerate he is that he wants to make sure that if you're catching an Uber or you're trying to watch a game, you don't miss it because you need a time zone, That's right? Been, very smart. This, 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 and some people are thinking this is a joke. This is not a joke. This is a real story. Here we go. The White House has directed NASA to establish coordinated lunar time, LTC, by 2026, <laughs> <laughs> aiming for international <laughs> consensus and synchronization among lunar emissions. Arati Prabhakar emphasized the importance, stating, imagine if the world wasn't syncing their clocks to the same time, how disruptive that might be and how challenging everything becomes. LTC is vital for data security and communication synchronization among spacecraft, lunar satellites, bases, and astronauts. Kevin Goggins, NASA space communication and navigation chief, highlighted the necessity, stating, you're going to want a heartbeat on the moon, emphasizing the significance of LTC for precision in lunar operations. While the U.S. leads LTC definitions, achieving accuracy and resilience in the lunar environment will require international agreements among uh, spacefaring Na spacefaring nations as stated in the OSTP memo. Little weird. Are you guys talking to aliens? Like, who are you negotiating this with? Tom, how do you process the story? Well, I process it like some some poor American astronaut's going to go back to the moon and then he's going to leave. And at the moment he leaves, you're going to send him a radio transmission. You know, it's daylight savings time. Did you change the clocks back? He's like, oh, crap. And he's, he's going to get back and he's going to get fired because he didn't change the clocks back. I think this is, look... I think they have figured out standards. If we can get satellites and the Hubble telescope and things to Jupiter and, and take pictures and get them back, I think we've figured out how to get things into space and get them back. And establishing CST, Lunar Standard Time, is really bad marketing. Because I think Biden should be working on his marketing better, talking about more things that relate to, you know, like the economy and stuff. He, he should be marketing his great accomplishments in the economy rather than talking about getting clocks on the moon. Adam. Well, I mean, to all the people that think that Biden is just completely a space cadet, boom, there you go. You got some evidence right there. I actually think he's given a shout out to I have President to interrupt Trump you and right say there. I'm agreeing with you finally. Tom, interrupting. That's ne that never happens. <laughs> Back, to Back to square one. Back to square one. Can I interrupt you for a second? <laughs> thanks, 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 Tom. Um, but I actually think he's giving a shout out yeah. to Trump right now. Because we all know in 2019, Trump took a lot of heat for creating what, Vinny? Where my sister works. Space Force. My sister works sister there. Works right there. now, she's in uh, in Los Angeles working for the Space Force. And she won't tell me anything. And I'm gonna. she's Good. not getting shit for Christmas. Because okay. I'm like, What's are there aliens? Uh, Veronique O'Shaughnessy. Veronique, do me a favor. Uh, continue not telling Vinny anything. This guy will flap his gums I am, at the quickest second. Excuse me, I'm a good, I'm very good with this. My, wow. Anyway, I had top secret. But clearance. I think Biden's just what continuing Trump's legacy. Dear God, we all know that Space Force is part of the Air Force. Yeah, it, weren't you part of the U.S. Air I was Force? The Air Force, but Space Force, and this so, is what, this is on I'd some different. To, I'd stuff. love to see what Elon Musk has to say here with SpaceX. I'd love to see what uh, Jeff Bezos has to say with. Uh, Blue Origin. I love to see what NASA has to say. Yeah. The final frontier, baby. Joe but Biden. He's I, going for it. We, listen, with all the all the crap that we have going on on this planet, mm -hmm. I can give two shits what's <laughs> happening on the moon. So I said this today to somebody. You know what somebody told me? And I'm the conspiracy theorist. Yep. They're like. <laughs> You think we landed on the moon? <laughs> I was like, here oh, we God. go. This that conversation went completely the other way. But dude, like, yeah. like, what are we doing, bro? Like, people are hungry. People are like starving in the streets here, and this is what we're talking hey, about. Hey, listen, give me a break. I, Tim Dillon called me an absolute stupid person because yeah. I'm questioning if there's aliens out here. Yeah. Meanwhile, he wants to know who the hell landed on the moon. Okay. Well, oh, it's so good fun. for you guys. Yeah, I can care less. But All shout right. out to my sister. BBD, you got any uh, strong feelings on this? You ready to go to the moon? You ready to be an astronaut? I know how much Wanting you love heights. No time. Wanting to know time and moon and what all that stuff's going to be. Maybe if you have your satellites out there, maybe it matters if you have satellites and stuff out there. I don't know. Like mm -hmm. Y2K proof? I don't know. I don't know. I, it, look, the, the, the fact that we're having NASA do its part and we have Space Force <laughs> and they're active, I kind of want them to do what they're doing because we're, we're, we're nothing compared to what's out there in the world and we got to keep studying it to learn more about it. It's good for all of us to kind of explore more. But... Time zone. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.